I think one of the real underrated players in the league right now is Jeffrey Simmons. I think you can make a strong argument for him being one of, if not the best players in the NFL currently. He's an incredible talent. And let's talk about what he does that's so effective. Because I think that, you know, there's only a few guys seemingly you know, at any point that can do the kind of things Simmons can, which is be a great pass rusher from the inside. There's so much that it brings to the table, not just with the value that he brings, but also just how it sets up other things. So let's get into it. So let's start off with the play you see on your screen. This is going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup against a guard right here. And, you know, a lot of times what you do if you're an offensive line, uh, not one individual offensive line, but you know what I mean. If you're coaching an offensive line, a lot of times what you do is if there's four defensive linemen, you have, uh, you know, your tackles, each one-on-one -on -one blocks uh, edge rushers, and then for the interior defensive linemen, a guard is going to one-on-one uh, -on -one block each of those uh, linemen, with the exception of your center, who will then help out one of them, and sometimes you do it in several ways, sometimes they, you know, have a specific guy they're supposed to block, sometimes you just look over and whoever you decide to block, that's who you end up blocking, and that I don't even think it's what's happening here. I believe the center is supposed to be blocking Simmons. But right when this play begins, you see how Simmons uses his hands. That's really what he does so effectively. You see how he uses his hand. I mean, his left arm right now is behind him. That's how far he uh, ended up, you know, sort of swiping to get the guard's hands out of the way and get in position where he can't block him. You look at the center. He's just watching Simmons. He's trying to get over and make a play. But Simmons is quick enough, he runs by him and even knocks the ball out of Daniel Jones's arms right there, and Tennessee was able to recover. These are the kind of things that Simmons does consistently for the Titans. And what makes this so effective, I think, isn't just his ability to do stuff like that, but it's also what that then means. And in this scenario, you have to basically, if you're a center, you almost, you can't sort of look for a second. You have to just run over and double team Simmons if you're going to have a chance. That makes blitzing a lot easier. It makes, uh, you know, give pretty much everyone else one-on-one -on -one matchups. You can set up favorable matchups that way if you know how teams are going to play you. And we see it with Aaron Donald, who like, listen, I'm not saying Simmons is Aaron Donald, but just obviously he's the best example of an elite pass rusher, and we see how that sets so many different things up. It's the same thing with Simmons. Like this plays another good example of what's going to happen. This is actually in the run defense game, where like you know he gets most of his attention for being a pass rusher, and like listen, that's definitely where he thrives. That's definitely what makes him special. But he can stop the run as well. Uh, he you know tends to do pretty well uh, stopping the run, and this is going to be an example of it, where it's going to actually be the right tackle. Evan Neal for the Giants. He's the guy who's supposed to be blocking Simmons on this play. But watch how really, I mean, immediately into this play, you see how Simmons is able to get through. That, that first step he has is so quick that while Neal got a hand place, but not necessarily where he hates, you see that Simmons is able to get so far towards the left of Neal at this point. Neal can't really do much. I mean, you can try and push, but again, if you hold on here, that would be a holding penalty. So you're in a really dangerous spot if you're Evan Neal. He doesn't want to get the holding penalty. So he tries to just push Simmons out of the way, but it doesn't work. And Simmons gets a tackle for a loss of six on that play. I mean, that's basically a, a sack right there. Uh, just it wasn't the quarterback. It was the halfback, which is obviously just a massive win for Tennessee. And also stuff like this, one thing that I feel like doesn't get talked about a ton is, you know, when, when we talk about pass rush, uh, typically the way that we view it is that uh, the edge rushers are the guys who have the most uh, impact in that, right? That's typically how it works. And it makes sense that those are the guys who wonder our sacks. Typically, it's those guys getting sacks. It's true. However, I feel like when a pass rusher can get a, a quick pressure from the inside, that's something that can be absolutely deadly because those pressures can happen almost immediately if you can pull it off just because you're closer to the quarterback. I think this play is a good example of it where, again, you have a scenario where this is actually, I think, Tennessee kind of help, helping set up a one-on-one -on -one matchup for Simmons because this is something you can do where they have a, a linebacker who's kind of showing as though he can blitz. And while he's not going to, what that does is since he's showing it on the right side of the screen, this now means that the center kind of just has to block to that side of the field. Because of that, they've set up the one-on-one -on -one matchup for Simmons, and watch what he's going to do with it. Watch this just complete immediate pressure to where, you know, that throw, I mean, you, you couldn't do much right there, right? 
I think a lot of people talk about how, oh, well, the pass rush gets there. There's nothing a quarterback can do. The reality is those kind of pressures are very rare. They don't happen as often as people uh, act like they do. But when they do happen, a lot of times it's actually the interior defensive linemen who can pull that stuff off instead of the, uh, you know, the edge rushers. And so for someone like Simmons to be able to do that, it just adds so much value for Tennessee. One more play to talk about. This is not necessarily, it, it's, just, it's a unique play. This is an odd one, but it's one that I saw on tape that I wanted to bring up where it's kind of a, just a fascinating play where Simmons, I've circled where he is on the screen, but what he does right when this ball is snapped is not going to be very impressive. Just fair warning. I mean, look, as you see, he kind of goes in. Looks like he was designed to drop back into coverage, I believe. Then, you know, ran into one of his own men. Uh, so, okay, whatever, you know, fine. Kind of a broken play. But the issue is that Carson Wentz here for Washington looks up and says, hey, wait a second. Uh, all I have to do is outrun a defensive tackle and I can gain some yards to the outside. This is easy. This is a great situation. But like I said, uh, Jeffrey Simmons, quite the athlete. Watch him be able to get over, and he is going to find a way to uh, actually get credit for a sack on that play, uh, what he was able to do. It's the athleticism that is so impressive with Jeffrey Simmons. Again, a very unique play, not something you see too often, but a good one, I would say. So yeah, just wanted to give Jeffrey Simmons some love. I feel like, you know, I try to make uh, videos like this as much as possible when there are some really good players that don't get the attention that they deserve. I try to make sure I uh, you know, do my, my, what I can with the, you know, small, uh, you know, group that we have here to try to, you know, shed some more light and to give some more love to a, you know, good player who just doesn't get the attention that he deserves. That is exactly who Jeffrey Simmons is, in my opinion, and he's someone that, for the Titans, I mean, listen, uh, it's, it's, I think he does a ton for the team. I think he really helps set up every single defensive lineman. It just makes everything easier. When you have one of those guys who teams have to game plan around, it gives all of your other guys one-on-one -on -one matchups. It makes everything easier so much easier and oh by the way he's only 25 years old like he's just now entering his prime which is kind of crazy to think about so absolutely a, a superstar level player for uh for Tennessee you know the Titans obviously they gave him a a ton of money they gave him the 94 million dollar deal for four years that's a you know that's an average salary of 23.5 million and definitely seems like a lot right giving up that much money for an interior defensive lineman. But I think the argument is he does so much more than just be an average interior defensive lineman. There's so much added help he does beyond just the value that he brings with you know his play alone. That's why I think the Titans like him so much. So uh, yeah, at least that's how I view it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Jeffrey Simmons? Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.